We have, in fact, uh, here in this lovely little woodsy setting, a former junior woodchuck, Jeff Healy, who's, uh, <laughs> who's uh, joined us down here in Burnaby. Hey, um, Sir? You know, I noticed the first thing he does is he plays the table. See, even look at him, he's playing. Um, ready to play the table. Just uh, my nervous um, habit. Welcome to Vancouver. Thank you very much. Uh, tell us back. about this movie biz. Movie biz. How did it start? How did you end up being uh, cast as the uh, male lead in an opposite Swayze in a well, movie? If we can go back about uh, six months to when we signed to Arista Records, yeah. they, uh, they wanted us to hook up with Jimmy Iovine as a producer for our album. And uh, so they sent him the video to see the light. And uh, about the same time that he got that, he also got a script from uh, Silver Pictures uh, in hopes that he could find the band for the film and they would just find the actors, but he'd provide the music for it and produce it. And uh, so he took a look through the script after looking at the video and came across uh, very near the beginning the part that describes the band, which is throughout the whole film, which says uh, blues rock band featuring a young blind guitar player uh, who plays flat on his lap. Which is you. So, yeah, so we, uh, we wondered at that for a little while until we did some digging and found out that the book writer was uh, originally from Toronto and had seen the band a couple of times. So I guess we'd actually been used as a role model in the script. So. But it's not quite the Jeff Healy story. I, no. Not it, quite. No, it's, it's no. That'll be made to, later. supposed to take place in Missouri. Oh, okay. Sitting behind uh, chicken wire and, uh, and all that sort of thing. Yeah. So. So you have been now a month into shooting uh, this film. What's it like? Well, it's it's fun. It's uh, it's the old cliche of hurry up and wait, but yeah. that's you know that's what we expected to do. So do you get to play your own music. Our own music? Yeah. Uh, well, you mean throughout the film? Yeah. Well, we're supposed to be a bar band, so we we play. There's only one tune that we uh, of our own that we gave over to the film, but yeah. uh, the rest are all you know covers, 50s, 60s covers, and so forth. You must be having a ball. I'm having a great time. I really am. What's Swayze like? Swayze, Pat's a really nice guy, and uh, you know it's uh, it's a real pleasure to uh, to know him. Aside from the whole stardom and stuff like that, you know he's just a, a fun guy. Do, um, will your music appear on the soundtrack? There'll be about five tunes, about half of the album, which is being put out by Arista, will be uh, will be ours. Also, another Arista band, uh, the Crusados. Oh, yeah. They're going to be in there. Uh, they, yeah. They're in the uh, the first bar that we see uh, Swayze's character before he's moved up to, brought up to the bar that we're in to clean that up. So, yeah. so that, there should be uh, should be a lot of good music on the album. At the same time that you're doing this, you're also recording an, a new album. We are, and it's uh, almost finished except for uh, a couple of final mixes that have to be done. It should be, I guess, in the can in the next week or so, and hopefully issued by... Uh, August the 15th. Good grief. Now, how different is that from the music you're making in the movie? It's a little more polished, um, you know, just because it is uh, recorded with an eye to, you know, singles and sales and, and all that, but it's not polished to the point of, you know, whatever you want to consider as polished. It's, uh, we've tried to put a lot of different things in that pass. Harley Hawks tried to put a lot of different uh, different uh, elements into the album, different, uh, you know, from really rough, loud guitar and so forth and the type of thing that the band does to, you know, a ballad to uh, uh, just some, you know, casual rock and roll to blues to, so we've tried to really cover a lot of, uh, lot of the spectrum. You know what? I can say this because I'm not you, but you're on the verge of some awfully big moves here. The movie's going to hit, the album's going to hit, the soundtrack will hit. It'll be your year. And we'll just have to come back and have a party next year. No right here. About it. Right, right here. in this very right, park. Right huh? at this very table. Yeah, if you'll play. <laughs> Only if you'll play. Hey, you had a great time at the Tom Pump last I night. Sure they did. loved you. I had a, I had a ball the last couple you. I think we all realized that we were seeing you maybe in the last time at a venue that small because it's just going to grow from here. Well, well time will tell. Okay. <laughs> you can do a Canadian tour soon? Someday soon? I've think that there'll be some scattered dates through August. Okay. Um, we're going to try and, and just get our minds back together through August and uh, uh, do a little bit of playing here and there and uh, then hit the States in September and go for about two or three months. All right. So, uh, and then maybe actually relax for Christmas, I hope. 
His now his name is now Hollywood Healy. Hollywood Healy, yeah. Jeff Healy, thanks very much for coming by. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Terry. Okay.